Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I will be doing a fragrance haul. If you want to see what I haul lately, keep watching. Before we get started, if you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and activate that notification bell. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Ana Luisa Jewelry is the sponsor of today's video. They offer high quality yet accessible jewelry. They have many unique pieces on their website. There's something for everyone. They're having their biggest holiday sale ever right now, and you can get up to 35% off your purchase. This will make a great holiday gift for yourself, friends, family. The three pieces I received came in the sustainable cloth package. This helps keep them looking brand new. I have pieces from them which I received a year or two ago and they look brand new. They didn't tarnish. I received this necklace that I'm wearing today and I picked these pieces out myself. They spoke to me. This is called Main Necklace and this has a green stone. I like the color. This really screams Christmas to me. It gives me that holiday vibe. I just love the color green. It's absolutely stunning. This necklace is very versatile. I've worn this with a casual outfit, jeans, and a sweatshirt. I've also worn this dressed up. You can dress it up, you could dress it down. You could take it from day to night. It's an excellent everyday necklace. It's so elegant and chic. And this could be layered with other necklaces or worn by itself. I love to layer my necklaces. The next piece, which I also picked out, it's a gold rope pave ring. It's the one on my middle finger right there. It has the cubic zirconium, which sparkle. It's so elegant, so beautiful. It looks very luxe and expensive. It looks even more beautiful in person. It's very high quality and elegant. And I like to wear this on my middle finger as well as on my index finger. This next gold twist ring, which is right there in my index finger, is a layering ring. This is one that I would layer. Right now I'm wearing it by itself and I just love the simplicity of it. It's very dainty and very high quality. And it could be worn alone or stacked with other rings. I am so obsessed with these pieces. I really love Ana Luisa jewelry. Every single piece I've gotten from them is high quality and luxe. I'm gonna put my link and discount code in the description box below. So make sure to check that out after this video. Thank you so much, Anna Luisa Jewelry, for sending me these beautiful pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the haul. I have been hauling a lot lately, especially with all these holiday sales going on, and all of the fragrances didn't even get to me yet. I'm getting them next week, but I decided to go ahead and film the ones I already have. This first one is called Praline and Pistachio. I picked this up at my local TJ Maxx, and this came on box. It's part of their collection, and this one is $17. I'll go ahead and spray it. I don't have the notes for this. It's not listed on Fragrantica. The notes are not in the bottle. So I'll tell you what I'm smelling. Mm -hmm. It's a sweet, nutty pistachio with caramel. I'm also getting a lot of vanilla and almond. It's very nutty, syrupy, sticky, sweet. It's a decadent dessert. Mm. This is along the lines of Girl of Now, but it's a little sweeter, if you can imagine that. So if you were to take Girl of Now and add caramel to it, this is what you would get. This smells so delicious. This next one I took out of the box because it's just a plain cardboard box. And this is by a new brand called Private Mood. This fragrance is called Cotton Candy. I'm gonna read the notes to you first and then tell you my thoughts. In the top note, you get coconut milk. Middle notes are caramel and cotton candy. Base notes are vanilla and musk. Spray some on my wrist here. This fragrance is not linear. It does go through stages. It opens up smelling like cotton candy. It has a bright fruity opening, although there are no fruit notes mentioned here, but somehow they managed to make it smell fruity. So you're getting this fruity cotton candy and it's immediately followed by milky caramel. And it dries down to a electronic caramel coconut scent. It becomes very creamy. It dries down to a very gourmand base. It starts to smell very sweet, very electronic, creamy. It is such a beautiful, delicious scent. And the caramel in this smells slightly burnt at the edges. This was a love at first sniff for me. As soon as I sprayed it on, I loved it from the opening to the dry down. And the performance of this is amazing. 
it lasts all day on my skin it projects i have received multiple compliments on this one so far this next fragrance i hauled is celeste or celeste by giardini de Descano. and this fragrance really took me on a journey this was so unexpected i'll go ahead and read the notes to you and then tell you what i think the top notes are seawater and lime Middle notes are violet, exotic floral notes, raspberry. Base notes are vanilla, sugar, and abroxin. So I'm not getting seawater or lime. When this just opens up, I'm getting those exotic florals. It smells like the tropical yellow florals. I'm getting a strong note of ylang, ylang and there's some tiare flower. This took me on that journey. The violet flower starts to come through and it starts smelling like the candied violet, like those powdered violet candies. Then I'm getting that juicy raspberry and as it dries down, the more gourmand it becomes. Those gourmand notes really start to come through. The presence of Ambroxan gives this a really beautiful scent trail. There's a creamy coconut, which is wrapped in a gooey caramel, and it smells really sweet and delicious. I'm also getting a large dose of vanilla. I'm getting caramel brulee, which is slightly burnt at the top. It's dense, chewy, and creamy. This is so amazing. I have to say that I do get the Bianco Latte DNA in this fragrance. They don't smell alike because of the presence of the violet in this, but there are some similarities in the dry down. So if you like Bianco Latte, try to get a sample of this. As I mentioned, this is not linear. It might not be a safe blind buy for everyone, but sample this because it's absolutely beautiful. I feel like people are either going to hate it or love it. I love this. To me, it's just such a stunning scent. Dare I say, I like this one even more than Bianco Latte. And I'm obsessed with that one. This has taken over my life recently. I have been wearing this one nonstop. Again, Celeste by Giardini de Toscano. This next fragrance I picked up from Bath & Body Works when they were having a sale. They brought this one back. This is coffee and whiskey. It was very popular last year. And when I got around to buying it, it was sold out. And they didn't bring it back until recently. This is basically a coffee whiskey scent. This is a sweet, boozy coffee scent. If you like that scent profile, I think you'll love this one. This is in the men's section. It's targeted toward men, but I find this one to be unisex. I think anyone can wear it. I've been wearing this one on its own, and I've layered this with some of my other fragrances. It's very cozy and enveloping. If everything in Bath & Body Works goes on sale soon and they still have this, grab it. It's really good. This next fragrance I kept in the box because I think the box is special. It's beautiful. This is by Amouage. Their presentation, their boxes, their bottles are just gorgeous. This is material. I have been wanting this one. I've been going back and forth on this one. It's been on my wish list for the longest, longest time. I never got around to picking it up. And Veronica from Veronica Says talked about it. And I was salivating and she made me buy it. Thanks, boo. I adore this. Look at the cap. It has a stone and I love this red bottle. Come wash bottles are amongst my favorite. I'm going to go ahead and read the notes. Top notes are Elemi and Patchouli. Middle notes are Madagascar, Vanilla, and Benzoin. Base notes are Tonka Bean Incense, Latinum, Guac Wood, Oud, and Osmanthus. So this is interesting because the opening reminds me of Nishane's Ani. And the perfumer who created this and Ani is Cecile Zerokin. So I can see how she put those touches into this, but it's only the opening. As it's drying down, it goes in a different direction. There's something green in the opening, and I'm guessing it's the Alami. So it's slightly green in the opening. It gets a bit smoky, sweet, ambery, vanillic. It really sweetens up as it's drying down. And this is so beautiful. I have to say, I'm not getting the oud and osmanthus, but the incense is done so beautifully in this. If you like those incense fragrances, you're going to love this. Even if you don't like incense fragrances, you might still enjoy this because it's not an overpowering type of incense. It gives it a bit of smokiness and the vanilla is so beautifully done. Cecile Zerokian really knows how to do her vanillas. 
such a beautiful creation truly a masterpiece i'm so glad to finally have this one in my collection again material by amouage so that concludes my haul for today please don't forget to check out anna louisa jewelry i have all the information in the description box below make sure you don't miss out on the sale and christmas is fast approaching please let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this haul do you own any of these what have you hauled lately i'd love to know thank you so much for watching and i'll see you back here soon take care